We'll see if Jair Alexander speaks to reporters today. I am curious, certainly, as I'm sure many fans would like to hear what he has to say. But, Tausch, the question I asked you before we went to break, uh, you have, in my opinion, two dueling goals. One goal is to give yourself every chance to have a fully engaged Jair Alexander as part of your team going forward after you went out of your way to talk about how you thought that this would make them better in the long run and he was going to be part of this team for a long time and all those things that they said when they announced the suspension. And then you have what gives you the best chance to win on Sunday based on what you have seen from Jair Alexander during this season. And I'm not just saying his attitude. I'm saying his health, too. Because if his shoulder is such an issue, then he can't tackle, and they have a need for their corners to play physically. And if he can't do that, then he can't play him. Now, my question is, can you just solve all this by saying he's not healthy enough to play? And he gave it a try in Carolina because he was in his hometown, but he probably shouldn't have played. And then you just skirt the whole issue and you give him the out. I don't know. I don't know what I would if 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 Jason Waller is their VP of communications and Matt LaFleur, the head coach, came to me and said, what would you do with Jair? I'm not sure I have a good answer for them. You're a solutions guy. Do you? Yeah, I do. And it's I want him to play. I want him to, because now you have the playoffs on the line. And if you believe in Jair, and I don't know where the organization and where Matt LaFleur is on that, but you're not going to get away with saying, Jair, you're not healthy enough to play. We're going to deactivate you. What do you think Jair is going to do? He will go crazy, and he'll be frustrated by it, and then it's over. I don't know if you recover, if you get a new defensive coordinator. I don't know about all that, but I believe in Jair Alexander. So I am going to say, we need you to get out there and go play. Whether or not that's the best thing for this team at the time, I don't know. But I'm always going to go with talent, and I want him out there if he is healthy enough to go. And I want to put it on him because they should have and would have and could have suspended him for two weeks if they didn't want it. They suspended him one, and they let him sit all and kind of twist in the wind a little bit as far as never knowing if he's going to play. He practices, and he doesn't play in games. There's all this uncertainty. I thought last week that line in the sand, let's see which way he's leaning on that line. Jair, man, we need you. We want you. I'm going to put out today that you're playing, unless you tell me otherwise, and let it rip. That's what if I'm Wallers, if I'm LaFleur, and medically, if they're gonna, if there, there's wishy washiness today, he probably ain't playing. I think this needs to be boom. Yep, he's excited. He made a mistake. He's frustrated by it. He didn't like being suspended last week. Saw that the team did it, and he wants to be a big part of what we're doing in trying to make this playoff push. I'm putting it all on Jair, and I let Jair handle the rest of it. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, doesn't. That's what I would do. So is this a test of the uh, the communications going to be so much better that before any of this occurs this morning, probably right now or shortly or, or maybe slightly earlier than now, that Matt LaFleur and Jair Alexander have sat down over a, a tasty cup of hot chocolate or something and had this conversation about, hey, we need you. We want you. You know, you think you, – can you give us – the best Jair Alexander you got because we want to make the playoffs and we think if we have you out there, we're going to do it or something to that effect. Do you think that that conversation has occurred from Matt LaFleur's perspective? Because it sounds to me like if it doesn't, then they didn't improve at all during the week that this has gone on. You literally just took the words out of my mouth. If, if you have not done it, you said you need to be better. Jair needed to be better. You reset the relationship. Resetting relationships, does it work? Eh, maybe. Not very often, but I'll take their word for it. This is the case where I think Matt LaFleur needs to put his cards on the table. There doesn't need to be the free. 
you know, the frustration part of I don't know if you're playing on, just say, Jair, we need you. Uh, they got a stud wide out. We need you to be locked down city, play physical with them, and we if you can do that, we're going to win and go to the playoffs, and we need you to do it. And then you leave it up to Jair. That's the conversation you have, and, yes, it should have happened yesterday or if you want to do it before meetings today, but let him go with a full head of steam knowing I'm ready to go get out there and play. You have to take the uncertainty out of it. He played against Carolina. He was suspended last week. He wants to prove to his team that he's going to be a big part of this moving forward. And if he doesn't, that tells you a lot, too. Strofe, are you on board with the Tauscher plan? I am indeed, yeah. I'm, I'm a firm believer, and I've heard Tausch say this many times, that winning cures everything. If he's back out there and he plays like we know Jair can and they punch a playoff ticket, I, I, I think you can absolutely salvage the relationship. So I want to see him out there. I'm with you guys on that. The only question I have is what you just said. If he's Jair, and I don't have a lot of evidence from this season to indicate that the guy I'm going to get is the depoy that you were rightfully such a stand for once upon a time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I just, I, I don't, you know, you said coaches like certainty. That is not what they're getting here with him. They are definitely not getting, he is a, well, a wild card. Roll. It's a dice roll for sure. So. Um, and I can assure you this. If they come out and announce Jair's playing today, and Jair comes out and he talks to the media and he does his thing, I can assure you that uh, your boy, who's the coordinate, Getze, I would bet they're going to say, all right, toss crack. Okay. Let's How see do if we he's isolate? willing to tackle. How do we isolate? Yep. I'm isolating him all day long. And I'm going to give four or five different perimeter runs to say, let's see what you got. Because the film this year, it is not great when it comes to Jair's physical play and trying mm -hmm. to make a ton of tackles in space. It's just it's not there.